Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So uh, weekend is over, it's Monday morning, gonna process all my sales for the weekend. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. All right, so Saturday I didn't do any sourcing. Uh, that was when I processed that rockin' box. So taking a break off from sourcing to process some items because I got a never-ending supply of them. Good stuff here. So I'm gonna process some sales. Out of these 10 or so sales, uh, I'm gonna process uh, three of them sold promoted listing. So still pretty good numbers on the promoted listing front. So let's get started. All right, first item, we got these uh, cross uh, vintage pencil leads and erasers. These small ones are erasers and the larger tubes are pencil leads. Um, these these were from a lot, uh, a couple yard sales ago, I bought uh, $3 for all this uh, pencil lead and, uh, and stuff like that, uh, pen refills. Uh, I sold those already. The only thing I got left is some other uh, erasers. Uh, I've sold pretty much everything from that lot, $3 I paid, and this particular bit of pencil leads and erasers sold for $15.77. So that turned out to be a really good uh, buy for just $3. That's the kind of buys I like. You know, you pay a couple bucks, you get a lot of stuff, and you make several good, decent sales out of it. I wanted to mention, whenever I'm processing my items uh, for my vlog like this, uh, when I tell you the price, like for the pencil leads, fifteen seventy-seven, that is the total price, including the price that the customer paid for shipping too. So I'm adding all that together and giving you the total price that my customer paid. Um, so obviously shipping is going to come out of there too. So just so you know. All right, I sold my last hat. I had gotten a bunch of fishing hats, not a bunch, but maybe like four or five fishing hats from Goodwill for about $3 a piece. This is the last one to sell. Uh, this is a Lou's fishing cap, uh, I guess Lou's boats or fishing supplies. Uh, this one sold for $18.33. So get this one out of the door. All right, here's a power supply that I just found. It came at random with some other stuff. Um, don't have, didn't know exactly what it went for, but it looked like a, a nice unused power supply. So I had a model number on it and that's just something I want to point out. Don't throw out stuff like that, especially if it's nice and new. If it's got a model number, look it up. Uh, I sold it for six bucks. That includes shipping. I mean, not phenomenal profits, but Hey, it was a sustainment listing one day. Uh, you know, it keeps my, my listing going, my algorithm going. And I did make a little bit of profit off of something that would have otherwise been junked. So don't throw anything away if you sell on eBay for the most part. All right, here's an interesting one. That vintage Wordstar sweatshirt from the 80s. Uh, I paid a buck for it a yard sale. Uh, sold this one. Took a best offer, which came out to a total price, including the shipping cost of $29.33. So that was pretty cool. All right, I sold this Hulk little stretchy Marvel shirt. Uh, I, my wife bought this for me, but it's way too small. Uh, that's the reason I have it. It was a thrift store item, but it's nice. Someone overseas wanted this. I only had $9.99 plus shipping on it, uh, but because they paid, uh, where was it going? Argentina or Brazil or somewhere? Uh, they paid, where is it? Oh, they paid a total of $24.99. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to pay a little bit extra for international first class shipping, but still, Flipped it, got it out the door. Here's another one I don't think you ever saw. Um, this was a Ralph Lauren polo shirt, size XXL. Um, red horse logo. Uh, this was, I mentioned a coworker just gave me a box of old clothes and this is just another item from it. So it was a free box of clothes and this is the second item from that I've sold. Uh, one was a Columbia uh, fleece. This is, this polo sold for a total of $20.32. All right, guys, I sold the Adam Sidwell uh, Mega Man 2 prints from circa 2011. Uh, there's, I got eight of them, eight out of nine. So almost complete set. They sold for $209.99 and I paid about $70 for them. So in the end, I guess I'll make about $100 profit. So not bad pretty high investment but gonna make a hundred bucks 
and hopefully get this to in somebody's game room that really appreciates it. So here's the first one. Here's the second one one last time, Metal Man. Here's the third one again. I, Quick Man, I, it's the one that had the crack and the frame. But really it's the prints that are what are sought after. I believe this is Crash Man. I always get these guys, Crash Man, Quick Man, and, uh, and Flash Man mixed up. And there's Wood Man. And the hero of the game again, Mega Man. The one that's this is the one that's signed by Adam Sidwell and has the number uh, limited number. And Air Man. And finally Heat Man. So the one I, again I was missing was Bubble Man to make a complete set of these. Uh, so hopefully the person buying them can acquire that or they like the set the way it is. Uh, so I'm going to pack these up very carefully to try and preserve the frames. But the prints are what really matters. All right. Packed it up really tight and carefully. It's going to be an 18 pound monster. We'll see how it goes. Here's a lot of five Club Penguin little PVC toy figures. I can't remember if I got these in a yard sale lot or from a thrift store toy bag, but uh, just these five figures sold for $8.63. All right, this AG bear ended up being a good one. Uh, this sold pretty quickly. I got this at that uh, church uh, thrift store. So AG bear is a vintage 80s bear that has a voice box in it that does these real weird robotic sounding voices. And uh, whenever you speak, it'll actually respond in this weird muffled voice. And you get two of these together and they'll actually talk to each other, like sit there and keep talking back and forth to each other. Uh, so this one was working well and it's in nice condition. It sold for uh, sold for $38.33 total. All right, that vintage block and tackle piece from a uh, yard sale lot of $30 worth of tools and stuff. This is the first item to sell. I put it on auction and it sold. Opening bidder, uh, total price $25.32. I'm going to pad this up and put it in a legal flat rate envelope so it'll ship for $7.00. A little change yeah almost a, what would be a four pound shipment good old legal flat rate envelope makes it only seven bucks all right sold a little people item it was the uh, snow white house with one of the dwarves uh this sold for 22 dollars 23 not the best one but that's all right i paid i think a dollar 95 for this with along with some other stuff so not bad all right finally i sold another of uh, my uh, History Channel Battle Gear DVDs. Uh, again, like I mentioned, I, I bought a huge lot of sealed media from a going out of business Amazon seller a couple a few years back. Uh, this sold. I took a best offer, free shipping, uh, four dollars and fifty cents. Now, a lot of people probably thinking, "Wow, that's not worth it." Well, here's the thing: I listed all this stuff years ago. <laughs> So I listed it once, I have cases of all this stuff, so it keeps selling over and over. Yeah, I might make 50 cents whenever it's over with, but that's okay. You know, it's I've made my profit several, several times over, made my money back and all that stuff. And when I first got the lot, there was some expensive media items, like there was a, a Blade Runner collector's edition that came with like a movie poster and all this stuff. Those were selling for over $50 a piece, and I had like 10 of those, so I made my money back and into the profit with that. And then I had many, many like 10, $15 DVDs that I sold. And so I'm down to just like the little nickel and dime stuff, but I mean, no reason to take it down if it keeps selling, it's making me a profit, just not a phenomenal profit. So I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, that does it for me today. Got everything processed, gonna get it out the door on a Monday. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for dropping in with me on the dungeon and checking out what I do on a daily basis. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe and have a good one.